All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to transmit your readings using the Bear Contour and the Contour Next Easy glucose meters. And before we begin, you want to make sure that the GMA is no more than 10 to 15 feet away from the modem. So we'll start off with the contour first. So again, with the contour, if you flip it, you will see where the battery compartment is. And these meters take two CR2032 batteries. What we're going to do is plug in the GMA into the GM's data port. And again, make sure that this is plugged in firmly. We want it to be flush. And next, we're going to insert a test strip and take a test reading. Once you plug in the test strip, the device will turn on. And we're going to apply our sample. Once the sample is applied, you see a countdown, and then we'll see our reading. And what we're going to do right now is remove the test strip. And once you remove the test strip, you'll see three dashes appear on the screen, and it'll start counting down depending on the number of readings that are stored. This can be this can store up to 500, so this might take a bit of time if the patient has a lot of readings. And next, what we'll see is the GMA will flash green. And we'll see dashes appear on the LCD. And now we can see that the reading light is on on the modem. Once all the readings have been transmitted to the modem, the GMA will flash green again. And next, we'll see the sending light come on. And once all the readings have been transmitted, if we check the service database, we'll see our reading show up. Once that's completed, we're going to remove the GMA. And next, we're going to use the Contour Next Easy. So again, if you flip that around, we'll see where the battery compartment is. Two CR2032 batteries. So again, with this, we're going to plug in the GMA into the GM's data port. Again, make sure that this is plugged in firmly. And we're going to put in our test strip and take another reading. And once we apply the solution, we'll see a countdown. And once that's completed, we'll get our reading displayed. And once the reading is displayed, we're going to remove the test strip. And on these units, it's not going to be an automatic transmit. So we're going to have to push the M button once to send the reading. And once we push that, we'll see the dashes appear. And again, we'll see a countdown. And once that's done, we'll see the adapter flash green and it will soon go solid and then the reading light will turn on and once that's done that will flash green and the GMA will also flash green 
And next we'll see the sending light come on. And once that reading sending is completed, we'll see our reading show up in the service database. One thing to note on some of these uh, Contour Next Easy models is that sometimes um, on the newer models, um, if you plug in the adapter, the unit will not turn on. So if you ever run into those situations, just have the unit unplugged, have the patient take the reading, and then plug in the unit and press the M button to transmit the readings. Uh, next, I'm just going to show you how the uh, batteries look on the back there in case the patient has uh, problems putting the batteries back in. So you can see the plus sign, if you flip it over with the label facing up, you can see the plus sign is actually on the left hand side, which is the orange part for the top battery. And you can see the text is readable. So just you can just kind of use this picture as a reference um, if a patient has a problem um, putting in the batteries in the correct order. All right, next I'm going to show you what happens if the adapter is not fully plugged in. So you can see right now we plugged in a unit that's not fully plugged in and we're going to try to send a reading. And you can see if you press the M button, the unit will just turn on and will not transmit anything because it doesn't know anything's plugged into it. And on these units, the red button doesn't do anything. So you can transmit it that way. The only way you can transmit a manual reading is by plugging it in and pushing the M button. But you can see again, that when you press it, it actually turns on instead of sending in the readings. So again, emphasize to patients that the unit has to be plugged in firmly. And now we're just gonna take a reading and see what happens here. So we'll plug in our test strip and we're gonna apply the, the solution. And we can see the countdown start, but you can see on the GMA, we have red flashes. So if you do see the red flashes, then just make sure that, tell the patient, uh, make sure that the adapter is plugged in firmly to the GM. All right, so next we're gonna simulate a low battery situation here. I'm just gonna remove these batteries and replace them with batteries that are low. see it turned on so now we're gonna plug in the GMA to the GM and we're gonna try to force a reading here you can see the dashes appear and you can see rapid flashing on the GMA so again just make sure you know with the flashes we have rapid red flashes and we have the slow red flashes rapid is going to be for the low battery the slow red flashes are going to be usually for the data error. And you can see this will keep flashing, indicating that it's got a low battery. And this light sequence basically works for both units, Contour and the Contour Next Easy. You'll see the same action on both. And to reduce the data error, um, which is basically the slow flashing red on the GMA. What you want to do is make sure that the distance between the modem and the GMA is as short as possible or uh, less than uh, 15 feet away. Um, avoid placing the modem um, or the GMA in any area where there might be electronic interference present, which would be basically in the kitchen uh, near a microwave or near a TV, router, modem, cell phone, or any other uh, electronic device that may cause uh, signal interference. And always make sure that the GMA is plugged into the GM firmly.